Phase change memory is emerging as a viable technology to replace both the volatile and non-volatile memories for computer applications. In 1970, we made a cinematic study of the mechanism of the phase change memory in Chicago night at Iowa State University. We would like to share the results with you on YouTube so it may contribute to a better understanding of the phase change memory mechanism. This is the test setup we used to show the switching and the storage mechanism of phase change memory. The red arrow points to the Chicagoite material. These are the tungsten electro probes. Normally, we apply positive voltage to the probe at right. The probes are spaced 25 mils apart, and the tip of the probe is 0 0.25 mil in diameter. This is a variable DC voltage source that can be manually controlled. On the left is a dual trace storage scope. The upper trace monitors the voltage across the probes, and the lower trace measures the current through the probes. The 16 millimeter movie camera observes the phase change on the surface of the Chicago night. And the video is synchronized with the voltage and current traces of the probes. Now we are going to show you the video of electric field induced crystalline filament growth and the melting or disordering of the filament. We apply a positive voltage source to the right probe and the series resistor is 43 kilo ohm. The upper half of the frame in the video is the camera view of the surface. In the lower half of the frame, the upper trace is the voltage across the probes. The lower trace is the current through the probes. As we increase the voltage to a threshold value, a flash appears across the surface. Then the filaments start to grow from the right as indicated by the step jump in the current. When the growth is complete, the current follows the voltage. That means it is in a low resistance state. In this case, the filament grew under the surface when it nears the left probe. Let's do it again. We slowly increase the voltage, the flash appears. The filaments start to grow from the right as you see the step jump in the current. We decrease the voltage before the filament growth is complete. Now we increase the voltage again and you see the step jump again in the current. That means the filament growth continues. At the third time we increase the voltage the current follows the voltage. That means the growth is complete. Again, the filament grew under the surface when it got near the left probe. Now we are going to show the melting or disordering of the filament. First, we are going to grow a filament. The series resistor is changed to 2 kilo ohms, which is much higher than the resistor value of the filament. So it is a current source to the filament. As we increase the current, the melting occurs and the material reverts back to its amorphous state. We want to show the polarity effect of filament growth. 
we grew a filament halfway between the probes. Then we apply a positive voltage to the left probe. As you see, the half-grown filament receded and the new filament grows from the left to right. We are going to show that the filament growth is due to an electric field effect. As the filament grows from the right, the threshold voltage decreases correspondingly as the distance between the tip of the filament and the left probe decreases. Therefore, it is a constant electric field that is driving the filament growth. As we vary the voltage, it took nine pulses to complete the filament growth, as indicated by the step jumps in the current trace. This work was done at Engineering Research Institute of Iowa State University in 1969. We want to see if the filament is truly crystalline. Here we manually grew about 1,500 filaments. Each is 25 mil long on a chicagonite surface. Now we compare X-ray diffraction patterns of a surface without filament and one with 1,500 filaments. Without filaments, a broad peak that is typical of amorphous material is shown. With the filaments, at least seven crystalline peaks were detected. This indicated that the filaments are crystalline in nature. From the cinematic study, the following conclusion can be drawn about the switching mechanisms of phase change memory in Chicagonite. First, electric field induced crystalline filament growth from the positive electrode to the negative electrode is the mechanism for switching from the high resistance state to the low resistance state. Second, melting or disordering of the crystalline filament is the mechanism for switching from the low resistance state back to the high resistance state. Third, repetitive operations were observed. You see, 